Hey everybody, real quick, this video is actually uploaded out of order. And thank you very much, Edward, uh, from the last video for pointing this out. So this is actually the episode three. And uh, the one I just uploaded earlier today is supposed to be four. I don't know how I missed it when I'm importing footage into Premiere. This file just got skipped over and it just it didn't click with me that the dates didn't match up. So if you're watching this after the fact and moving through the playlist, you're in the right order. Don't worry about it. But if you watched the today's latest video, um, this one is supposed to go before that one and it's being uploaded later. It's weird. I've got the playlist all organized, but if you were wondering why there's like a four day gap, uh, you know, January 8th to the 12th or whatever it is. Um, that's why this video is supposed to be before the last one I uploaded. It's all correct now, but it may throw you off if you have been watching it like as soon as I'd uploaded. So hopefully that fixes any confusion. I'm sorry about that. I'll try not to let that happen again. That was a weird problem. Here's the video. Enjoy. Hey everybody. Welcome back to evil genius Two. Hope we're having a great day today. We, uh, we should have some agents coming through the door here any second. We've got our knife reporter, or reporter. <laughs> oh God, what a long day. Uh, performer up here on stage. And hopefully we can uh, distract Let these see fools. You. Don't you see that intruder? Distract them. I'm actually considering turning down the game music. So this lowers resolve pretty fast and uh, it can hit them all at once too. So every single one of them get their resolve down, which is kind of nice. Uh, was there another... Did I miss two agents coming in, or are they only sending three? Usually there's five, but maybe there's only three this time. I don't know. Or maybe it depends on how much heat's in the area when they send them. <laughs> A new criminal network has been established. I love it. See, they go over there for performance, and then they come over to the bar where the resolve is reduced even further. Honestly, if you just spam bars, I think you could probably you could probably just take them out with their resolve like really, really quick, right? Okay, let's take a look at the next objective. Ooh, nice. Uh, the side story. We want to do if it ain't broke. We're gonna get twenty thousand for this, and also a technician. Let's go. You are you responsible for the state of this room? Is that computer supposed to be giving off sparks? Yes, boss. Uh, that's how we know it's turned on. <laughs> it looks broken to me. Don't you repair these things? We try, but it hurts. The sparks, you see. I can't rule the world from a ramshackle lair with hunk of junk equipment. Kidnap a specialist, interrogate them, find out how to repair these things. Okay. So that's the next thing. And uh, we have a network available to do that right now. So let's take a look and see. Available. Okay, so we don't have a specialist available in a region that we are not currently scheming. Uh, we actually could go down here and scout this. I have one broadcast strength left. So why don't we scout this and we can get that going. Um, I'm also scouting this right now. Uh, obviously, this one right here right now. And uh, we just finished scouting this. So I'm opening up our criminal network a lot now, okay? Um, so this one's a fresh region. There's not as much heat. And man, oh man, isn't this juicy. 20,000 over 30 minutes. Or we could do 15,000 over three minutes. Now, I like that more. Let's do that. We get the money faster that way. And, uh, yep. And we also built up a little less heat in that region too. Uh, but it looks to me like... In order to get our specialists, we're going to need... we got to scout more regions in order to do that. A trap has been triggered. Oh, hang on. Traps being triggered means people are coming in. All right, let's see. Okay, her resolve is uh, slightly reduced. And we can try to kick her out, right? That's what we're going to do. Um, I have our wonderful genius in her desk. Look at this desk. It's freaking amazing. Oh, gosh. I would love it if this game had, like... Ugh. There needs to be a photo mode in this. I wonder if there is. And I just don't... Yes, there is! Oh, there is a photo mode! <laughs> I, I, I thought this was uh, something that was announced before, but I'm just now remembering it. Oh, we are using these for thumbnails. Look at this. Oh, look at this. This is so good. Field of view, roll camera, 
We got depth of field we could turn on if we'd like to, which is... That's kind of cool, I guess. Oh, this is a thumbnail for sure. Can we hide the UI, though? Very important part of photo mode. Yes, we can, because there's a big yellow button that does that. So there you go. Photo mode in the game. <laughs> That's perfect. Oh, I love it. Good, 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 good. That's my thumbnail for this episode. Brilliant. But now you know. Now you know. Okay, so 21,000 in the bank. Let's start expanding this out a little bit. I want a corridor that comes up about this way. Uh, we can do uh, we can do three wide a little. Yeah, let's do four wide here up to this point. And then we'll go three wide up to this point all the way to about here. Let's have them build that. And then what I'd like them to do is get started on a lab. A criminal network has been established. And we're going to put the lab right here. I think I'll go all the way to the end here with this. And we're just going to go about like that with the door. This is where our lab will be located. We're going to set up a whiteboard. This is how we open. This is how we start with our research. And I'll put the whiteboard like right here next to the door for now. We can also put a data bank in. It's um, there are certain researches that require certain equipment. So uh, some require us to have a data bank. Others will require us to have this um, impact analyzer. Um, I am going to simply start with the whiteboard for now. Because I'm pretty sure we don't need anything more than that to start. And then with the extra power we have, let's go ahead and drop down. Or with, sorry, extra money. Let's go ahead and drop down additional power while we can. Uh, we got some people distracted. Nice. Resolve is being reduced even further. Love it. And then this person's coming in. Now, they have extra health, right? They're starting to get a little stronger. Still a gullible fool, but get a little bit stronger if we want to... Um, if we want to engage them in combat. And still, look, their resolve is so low already. So this is great. We're starting off really nicely that way. With this extra money, we could also go ahead and add some additional traps while we're at it. So let's go ahead and put in one there. And I actually want one on this side just because. Like, might as well. Uh, we'll also put one right here. Not enough gold to complete this construction. And you see, we're I'm spending all that extra gold, right? That's the whole the whole name of the game there basically is spending as much gold as I can because I don't have a vault yet. So let's go ahead and launch that scheme. Um, we want to kidnap the technician. So here we go. This one's got a technician. Let's go ahead and grab him. And actually, wait, the heat's already maxed out there. Uh, well, that region's gonna get locked down. Yeah. Yeah, we can't do that one. Let's cancel that. Sorry. Uh, we got we to gotta get rid of this first. Let's launch this first. Extra five grand. Actually, we can go after this technician instead. Yeah. Let's go after that one instead. Or in this region, we'll do another gold generating mission. Has succeeded. So we got to find one. Hopefully one pops up in a second. There it goes. And that's, that's okay. We'll start that one. Um, any other ones that we need to... Any other regions? No, it looks like we're scheming in pretty much all of them right now. Okay, good. Come back to this. Also, let's go to optionals. And still nothing. Execute a valet. Okay. So there are certain things in the tutorial. It sort of walks you through these things. I don't like it personally, but hey, we're evil, right? So this is kind of the thing. To motivate your workers to be better workers or to be more loyal to you, uh, somehow executing your workers really inspires them. <laughs> I don't know how that's a how that really works for inspiration but it does so we're gonna execute a couple of workers and only because we're getting paid for it pretty much i mean we're evil right that's the whole name it's the whole thing we do so let's grab our yes. genius and you want to do this in a place where people can see it um just to help inspire people uh inspire your minions so we're gonna do this probably over mm -hmm. here near where people eat and uh since we've got people in the area we might as well take out this valet here. Uh, of course, we want to we want to wait till a better time, but we're probably going to take out that valet. We could also do it over here, but eh. Uh, let's check out. Are we still dealing with agents? I think we're good here, actually, on the whole agent front. Yeah, we're fine on that. I would like to, of course, capture them because we get intel, but it's kind of whatever, I guess. Um, with this extra money, let's go ahead and drop extra capacity on the map there we go and 
We got technician training here. There's just technician training and then there's guard training. So that's all we really need for this training room. <clears throat> but I'm also thinking um, the lab, they're going to be using their smarts to help with this and they're going to need to train that or they're going to need to get that back. So we're also going to need an archive so they can rest up. And I think in this is a decent spot for a little archive here. Um, I, I, I think this is where I'm going to put it. So I'm going to go ahead and just build it now since I'm pretty sure I'm going to need it. And it's just going to have a little entrance. It doesn't need to be fancy. I'm actually not sure it needs to be even be this big for now. And then inside, we put one of these re-education chairs. Partially restore minion smarts. Uses a combination of uh, hypnotic spirals, loud noises, and subliminal messaging. It's 15,000 for this. And uh, we'll just put this little chair right here. Not enough gold to complete this construction. And we'll put the construction down just a little bit. Uh, actually, let's let's make that... Uh, yeah, a really small opening is fine. It doesn't have to be a place that's uh, closed in. And then actually, just to help a little bit, because I feel like we might be getting visited uh, by more people soon. Um, see, the thing is, if you go three wide, you can't put doors down. So you got to alternate and figure out where you want to place doors, and then you can do the that. Um, has succeeded. For me here, I think probably we can go ahead and widen the corridor, maybe here. All the way to here. Uh, and then we can place a door right here. It's just to slow down agents is really the only reason to do that. Because once they get past this point, then they're going to start encountering things we don't want them to see. Okay, so we got this one is done now because we've, we've kidnapped the technician. Let's go ahead and grab that scheme. And we got another scheme over here we can do. I think we get 10,000 gold. Eh. I don't really want to spend 10 grand. This is 20 heat, so we can technically afford that, at least for a little while. Go send the worker over to that. Um, you, you, In general, you don't want to skip these schemes, or you don't want to cancel them in the middle, because it still costs you the full cost. You just didn't get as much reward. But this is close enough to where I'll, I'll go ahead and do it, because you are earning that over time. It's not all one big bulk payment. Okay. So the lab's getting done, and uh, once that's set up, these guys will begin research. I have 20 grand. I don't want to get to 40, because then I start losing money. So we want to go and put in, I think, the impact analyzer. We'll go ahead and get this set up right now. Not enough gold to complete this construction. That's going to use all my gold, so that's good. Um, eventually, we'll get research that allows us to... Um, Ooh, you know, I could probably get another cell right here. Move this chair over here. I can do that, actually. Put the chair right here. Yeah. And then when we... When we dig into this... Oops, not that. When we dig into this, I could put another cell right here. We have captured an intruder. Let's just do that, too. Why not? We can capture three intruders now if we want to. That's cool. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. So we got this intruder. This is our technician. And we want to go ahead and uh, escort this prisoner to the chair. And get our get our information that we, what we seek. I also have a new uh, radio transmit transmitter now. So we have one spare broadcast strength. Go back to the map, and I am going to venture into this area. Let's see what's all about up there. And so far, we have nothing spare. We're making lots of cash. We can make some additional valets. I think uh, expanding how much we're able to deceive is probably a good idea. So let's get 20 of these guys. And I'm also going to do a couple more scientists because you need a scientist working in there at all times to research. And when one of them gets tired or they need to refresh their smarts, you need someone to replace them. Not only that, but your staff still have, they need to eat, they need to have breaks, they need to sleep, etc. So having one scientist isn't enough if you want to have constant research. So I'm going to get a few more. And then, of course, a lot of these guys will end up being technicians as well. An intruder has given us their secrets. I need to expand power again, so 
We're gonna bring this all the way out to here for now. Has succeeded. And here. Uh, I can't dig this yet. We don't have the research to dig that far. Um, you can see that the rock is a different material. It's a little harder. So we need research to dig in even further. And we're just gonna dig this out. And then I'm gonna move this back like that. Okay. And maybe I move the door too. I don't know, we'll see. Eventually we'll have different types of power generation. And then I also eventually want to move my power facility. I want to move it to the lower levels so it's harder to access for agents because this is still pretty easy to get to, uh, at least over time anyway. It's not going to be... It's not going to be sufficient to guard us forever. Scheme has succeeded. All right, we're... we're hang on, let's pause it really quick because, again, I'm getting close to 40,000. And you know what? We have this little hall. This is where I want my vault for now. So why don't we go ahead and get that started to dig out because it's going to take a lot of money to dig this out anyway. So we're going to dig out a big vault right here. And well, again, we'll probably move this vault later on because it's not that well guarded. Uh, hey, can I? Yeah, there we go. Not that well guarded, but it'll it'll be a thing. So I think we're going to go about like this. We're going to have a corridor that takes them up to this point. And then... Uh, we'll come... Hmm, I actually want to go even deeper. Let's go... Uh, I may want to expand this, right? So I need to leave room for that. Let's go three uh, three wide for about here. Then we'll switch... No, sorry. Four wide here. Then we switch to three wide. Hmm, not yet. You'll see why. I'll show you why. Then we'll switch to three wide here. Yep, and then uh, we go back to four wide there. So we're gonna leave this little tiny gap here. And this is again, for, for camera purposes, mounting them and stuff, we're gonna have doors that block this area as well. Um, I'm not gonna do the doors yet because that, that increases friction for workers getting in here and doing the job. Um, so we'll put the doors in last. Um, but we're gonna want this hallway to be, you know, about like this is fine. And then uh, we can have them go all the way like this, back into here. And this will be this will be where the door is. So we'll have the vault go uh, like this. I think actually all the way out might, might as well. Uh, not this far though. There we go. And is that that's three wide, right? Yeah, that should be good enough, I think. And then finally, all the way at the end, we go like that. Okay. And then this gets a door. You do not and that, have enough power to sustain this build order. And then what we're going to do is, well, okay, we're going to we're going to add power too. Let's go ahead and confirm this and then we're going to add power as well. And I want my genius Where is she? Hey. Genius. Yes. Come over here. There better be a good to prioritize that job. Okay. Let's go back to the world map. And it looks to me like uh we got this one. We got some. We got some heat left over here. We could do a small one. Uh, yeah, we could technically do this. Over 20 minutes, we're gonna build heat though. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do this one instead. And then uh, this one over here. Pretty high on the heat. Let's go ahead and pay it. Pay him off. There we go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get into this one now. We need to spend money faster until I have a vault. Uh, so we've also got now access to technicians. So I want to go ahead and train like, let's say eight of them for now. We want a bunch of them. And then I can also hire workers with that 10 grand. So I'm going to spend that money and get more workers immediately. Uh, then I am going to you. I want you to promote them to go as fast as they can right here. Do it right. All right. So they're going to prioritize all of this. And then... Uh, Oh, oh, I see. I didn't buy. I thought I'd already bought this impact analyzer. Okay, but let's take a quick pause. I know I'm a little bit scatterbrained. There's a lot going on. Um, give me a little bit. We also have agents here I want to tag. So let's go ahead and do that. I need that intruder discovered and distracted. Later on, I haven't gotten that far yet myself uh, when I was playtesting. But later on, I'm told there's technology like there's research that will allow you to make zones and those zones will auto tag agents as they pass through them a certain way. So like I can make a distraction zone uh, and that will happen. But 
I probably would want that to be here or maybe right here. And then it would auto tag any agents coming through the front door as distract. Because really, you don't need to tag them when they're in here. They're already going to be distracted. They're already going to be treated like anything else. But I want to say that, um, that once they get in here, that's when it matters. So I just tag them early before they get in, basically. All right, that door is in. Um, now we can start... We can start hitting security a little bit harder here too. So like for example, to get in and out of this room, I want there to be stricter access. So we can also have it take more time to pass through the door. Um, this doesn't really block agents though. So we might want really heavy doors. Like for instance, to our power room, probably gonna want a really heavy door just to help, uh, yeah, help to help with that. Oh, we have to also get this set up, hang on. So technician trainer, we're gonna put that, I think, right. We can just put it right here. Maybe we get two of them. Nah, one's for now, one for now. All right, I need to execute a valet. I also need to execute a worker. So we're gonna execute a worker while everyone can see. You, what are you doing? This one is useless to me. You are useless. Why are you, why are you the way you are? You aren't working hard enough. <laughs> Inspire them. Okay, now I think these guys are not... I'm pretty sure these guys are leaving to go to the world. Uh, increased spotting power. And also has seen an execution re recently. They are a witness. I don't know exactly what that does, though, to be honest. If somebody knows the game better, you can tell me what witness does. I forget. But I'm only doing it because the game says so. <laughs> in any case, I did that. And that means I can also go in and... Uh, and uh yeah get the bonus objective completed which the moment this gets paid for i'll totally do that but right now the impact analyzer is not paid for hmm. there had better be a good reason for this all right what's going on here this one's completed this one's maxed out so 49 pause 49 out of 50 is bad we want to pay for this let's reduce the heat here and we'll take it all the way down to zero. This one here is pretty high too, so we can send some minions on this one. I probably could have paid for that, but I want to also get that analyzer, so I don't want to pay for everything. Let's get this one. Okay. And you know what? Let's We can actually do this now because we're doing enough stuff. Let's collect the reward for that. New optional objective. Nice. We have three cells in our prison and no prisoners. I need agents getting over here. I don't need agents to capture, okay? Give me someone to capture. Task complete. Should probably mark them for capture instead. They have 75 health, though. And honestly, they're gullible fools. Look at them. They're all going to play at the same table. Just reducing their, their, their skill. What a great valet. Ida Cohen. Very good at her job. Getting all three of them. It's beautiful. <laughs> well done. Uh, let's see. This one here. Let's go ahead and scam tourists. Now, the one thing I don't like about it is when you switch modes, it all it completely disables it. It's like they have to cycle through it as a job. So all play ends, and then they'll, they'll come over and pick it up later. But scam tourists is kind of where I want, because I want to make some money on some of this stuff. So let's do that. Okay. A new criminal network has been established. Oh yeah. Our trap went off, bopped him in the face. It's nice. Oh, that's good. Now I need to execute a valet for some additional cash. First though, I want to get this built because it's thirty thousand dollars and it gets us dangerously close. Yes. So I'm gonna go over here and actually pri oh, never mind, we just paid for it. Yeah, we just paid for it. Okay. Um let's go like this. Anything to accept? Not yet. We have to train them. Kill rogues. Yeah, I still have to kill one. Uh, I haven't seen a rogue yet, though. Uh, let's see. He up here. Okay. We have this new network established. Let's go ahead and grab that. And I think that's it. Yeah, no new things to do. Although this one's almost done. And there's heat here. That'll cost us 10,000 to get rid of. If we can have one that builds 10 heat, I'll take that if it spawns. 
Also, getting more workers would be good, too. Maybe we spend some of the cash on that. Oh, I can't yet. We gotta train eight technicians. Come on. I'm All right, they're coming in to build that analyzer now. Okay, um, so I could have been researching this whole time. I was gonna show you the tree. I swear I was going to, and then I got distracted because I'm like a freaking squirrel today. So let's pause it really quick. I know, you pause us a lot. Today I have been, sorry. It's just the way it is. Um, let's take a look at the tech tree. So we're gonna go into the research tab and we have got five tabs here. Uh, one of them is locked. I have never been to tier three. So I, I don't know tier three anything here. So we're gonna discover a lot of the stuff together. But uh, for the purposes of this, we have four tabs at the moment. We have global operations, which affects how things work in the world. Um, we can get a computer console and start using Intel. We can go through the layer, which is where I'm gonna go first. Uh, and we can advance the layer in a variety of ways. I think I'm gonna go with improved mining techniques first. This allows me to expand rooms into the other stones, but there's also a good case to be made of getting other types of doors, like laser doors, for example. These are effective against rogues. Saboteurs can easily break it. Then we have the big heavy doors. These are effective against saboteurs, but rogues can pick it with ease or bypass it with ease. But mostly what I wanna to get to is this, the safe rack. This can hold a decent amount of gold, takes up less space, and we can really start storing gold if we can get the safe, the, the rack here. So I kinda of wanna to get to that. And in order to get to that, I have to have two of these done. There's also capacitors. These provide energy uh, to the layer if anything happens to our generators. So. I assume this is like batteries, I'm assuming. So we want to get some of this stuff too. And uh, we can't do that until we have 10,000 in gold post construction. So now we have that. Now we have that and we can start a research if we want to. And I think for the time being, I'm going to go with the, you know, what? let's do the capacitors first. We'll begin with that. So the capacitors actually wait, the capacitors telling me it, it can't work. Why? Um, Research pause, nobody's, oh, it's just because it's nobody's working on it. They will though. Yeah, yeah, they will though, it's fine. So we're gonna unpause it and then they'll they'll start going to work on it again. So now the scientists have something Not to do. Gold to complete this They're gonna come in here and work, okay? <laughs> That's good. So these guys are building out the vault. Uh-oh, stop. Why are our minions in combat? Uh-oh, uh-oh, he just killed. Okay, this is something that these the agents can do, and I hate that they can do this. The agents can retaliate against you when you try to uh, like kick them out, right? Like they did the first wave we had. But then once they kill someone, they'll take a picture of that body and use that as evidence of malicious stuff happening here. That needs to be something that they that they can't do. It's silly that they can attack my guys because we're trying to kick them out and then they can take a picture of this body. So I need to get my genius out here as soon as possible and mark this person for capture so that they do not leave with that evidence. I want that intruder captured. Hunt them down. So I'm going to get Actually, they're only slightly suspicious. I want you to distract Let's put them as a distraction for the time being so we don't attack them at the moment, not until my genius arrives. And once the genius is here, actually, you know what? Mm, they're going to kick him out into the I don't want them to leave. Yeah, I don't want them to leave into the casino and, ru and ruin the experience for the other guests. So I actually want them to try to be captured right now. But they'll kill my valets, and I don't want to do that. I don't want them to kill my valets. There's three valets in the area, though. I think they can all take them. I'm going to go capture here. To find and, capture that and then I'm still... I got my genius on the way. Nope, they're gonna. They're gonna. Okay then. I need you to find. Go back to distraction. Can we take that guy right now? There's no additional agents, right? It's just that. Yeah, I think so. I need that intruder. Yes. Get or they won't Get him. escape me. Okay, so we're gonna capture him now. <sighs> um, the valleys are running away. That makes no sense. But all right. Protect yourself. <laughs> You Maybe the valets there. could fight with me. I don't know. I guess not. That's all right. My stats will get... Steps. There. My stats will get recovered anyway. So he's he's going to be captured now. Time Good. To get all right. My hands I can then put my genius back in her chair I if I want to recover alone. the stats. 
Yeah, okay, let's do that. And everything else goes, all business is normal out here. Nothing to see here, folks. Just had a, just a minor disagreement with this patron. We've, we're wrapping it up, it's fine. Um, how about we grab another trap right here, just because we can, and then also another one back in here. Not enough gold to complete this construction. I like hearing that actually, not enough gold to complete construction. Because it means that um, we're not going to, uh, we're not gonna go over, right? We're not gonna go overboard. So let's also put in two more power generators here to help us out. And as we earn money, we'll pay for that stuff, right? So we've got, uh, let's see, this network, no schemes running. It's got pretty high heat buildup. So we, if it's cheap, I can do it. $10,000. Is there one that builds up like 10 heat? 15. Eh, it'll be more. Yeah. Okay, we have no power now. And that's that sucks. So we really need this you to be the big priority. Because without power, we can't capture him. So, uh, genius. What genius. Come over here, and I want you to prioritize that. In the meantime, we're going to shut this off. And that'll bring our power back online. But I want the genius to get over here to prioritize the power here. So, guys, come over here and do this. Come over here and do this, please. I want this done first. There You're we running go. low on power. I know. Build more generators. I know. <laughs> I know. Things happen quickly in this game, especially if you play at accelerated time quite a bit. All right. Well, I think uh, pay the gold, pay the workers. Over 20 minutes. I want to do more schemes. I'm going to pay this. And we are done. Succeeded. Okay, also, what's happening around the map here? Oh, yeah, we got a lot. We got to pay for this one, too. This one's only 10 minutes, though. I'm going to let them have that one. If it's if it's 20 minutes, I'll pay for it. But sometimes the schemes are 10 minutes. And then as you expand your network and make it better, you know, more upgraded networks and stuff, then you get better quality schemes as well. This is no heat at all. So let's take full. Eh, actually, let's do the math on this. 20 grand over 30 minutes for three workers get 30 heat or we get 10 grand in three minutes 15 heat i think this is still better right technically we can get the same amount if we do three of these if we do a three of these we get 30 grand right so i guess it's we have to compare it to two of these probably yeah because it's the same heat buildup. yeah so for the same heat we could do two of these we get the same heat and the same amount of money but it takes like 10 times longer to do that but in exchange it also costs us half the workers but honestly that timing is a big deal 10 times longer to do it is kind of a big deal i'm gonna do the smaller one for now and we're good on the map okay bring it back let's check optionals really quick i got we got to do some of these i gotta execute a valet because, like, I know there's other ones in here somewhere that were just completed already, right? And we're not getting them. So, I want to get them. So, where's a valet? I need my my idiots. Hmm. Well, we're going to we're going to capture, yeah, we're going to execute this agent. So, that'll be that'll be one of the side missions too. So, let's escort the prisoner to the chair and get that done. Power. Okay, power is restored. Indeed. Let's get you into here just in case the interrogation goes bad. And then I need to find a valet that's walking around to kill too. <laughs> yeah, I'll need to do that. Look at this. This place is dead. We need to put on better shows. Okay. I want like top of the line entertainment here so we get more and more people always. What's the... What's the place I got to look at up here? So we're looking at what? Yeah, 24 heat buildup. I wish they would display the heat in numbers here instead of the progress bar. So 24 heat. I could technically afford this, but um, 
I think I want a smaller one instead. Interrogation success. This one's pretty cool. It takes more workers, but it's very fast. So I'm going to do that one. It's less heat. It's more workers, but it's very fast. And, you know, I could probably get more worker capacity if I added a few more of these. So let's just go with one more set of these. And then I want beds along the back wall. Just to help out with that problem. Uh... Yeah, I can't decide if I want beds here or not. Am I even able to put them? I'm technically able to, but that's kind of weird, right? It's right up against those. How are they even getting there? I have to expand this one more over, which isn't the big deal. I can expand it one more over. Like that. And then I can put beds along this edge if I want to. But honestly, if I go two more over, then I can fit a whole new row of... Yeah, I think we'll do that instead, because then I can fit a whole new row of lockers like this. Let's confirm that. We can have even more minions here. Research has been paused. The vault is coming along okay. We're getting to the point where I am about to Research has resumed. get capacity for holding more gold. Um, this area here is reserved for this to expand, but unfortunately... This is really hot, like hard rock to cut through. Like we're going to need extra research to get through this to even expand this. So I don't know if that's the best play. We might move our communications room to be somewhere else. Um, in fact, you know, I might even turn this into like a staircase area. Because we can go, we can build lower. I even do it over here. Have them come this way and they can go down. I'd like the, the stairs down to be past this wall, and I'm also going to put a laser wall here, too. Or a laser door here, too. So, yeah. Yes. How did our interrogation go? Seems like it went out successfully, right? Let's put you here Way and tell them to prioritize back. training so we can get the technician training done. I'm thinking. Train technicians. Do it. Do it right. And do it now. Training technicians. Guys. I need technician what? training. No. Nobody's doing it. Why? Oh, also, in case you guys need any health. Let's turn this back on. I want people trained. I don't know why they won't train. Maybe there's just not enough minions. We'll go with six for now. It's just possible we don't have enough minions. Plus, they're all busy doing things, right? They're all installing things. There we go. There we go. More training happening. Good. Keep going. And like, look at how they fix things. Look at how their training works. <laughs> so this is how we fix things, guys. Don't you know? The sparky, the sparks. They're scary. Now, Max has a cool ability where it's an area of effect and instantly train, instantly completes all training in his vicinity. It's really good because you can position all your training stuff around a circle, put Max in the middle, and just have him sit there. And then as your people are training, you just hit the button and everyone around instant trains. It's very good. I like it. I mean, it's a little situational. I'm kind of passive a little bit in a, in a way because like it doesn't help you in combat situations or anything. Like maybe Emma's does, but it's uh, it's still pretty good. I'm going to put an additional mess hall over here because I want them to be able to eat without having to walk all the way down this hall to get it, right? I want them to be able to do that. So we're going to put an additional mess hall over here. And for now, we'll just put the two. But eventually, we're going to unlock new types of mess hall stuff, new types of like foods they can get and access to different things. And then this will be like the main mess hall at that point. It will also distract them more because they'll head this way first because their rooms are open and closer. They'll investigate this stuff before they even try to come this way. And that's what we're kind of hoping for anyway. That's what I'm hoping for. Let's get additional power put in. Uh, that ought to do. And then we can afford to put power. Uh, once we get the research for it, we can dig into this rock and then we can open this up. And we can't go here, but we should be able to go here. And for the time being, it looks like I can go 
Oh, I can't do this. You know, honestly, I could do this, though. I can just put those in. I have the money to do it, so I'll do it. And then we only need one more technician. Let's go execute what? a valet. <laughs> right here. Right here. This guy. This guy in particular. Time Wait, no. I need, part of the plan. I need to be in this area to do it. Because he'll come to me. I do not go to my minions to kill them. Way ahead of you. you there. That guy lucked out. You. You have been eating at this table for like six hours. There, better be a good reason. there is no good reason for this. There is no... So guess what? This traitor must be dealt with. Get over here. I want to have a good talking with you. Your bolts are almost full. Talk to her. Do it. Yeah. Dead. All right. Let me make sure we're building things because, like, my vault should not be full. I am spending so much cash. We should not be full, but it looks like we're getting full. Why? Why are we getting full? Let's go to the map. See if I can spend some money on re reducing heat. That's kind of a waste, isn't it? There's got to be a better place. Uh, how about over here? This is pretty good. Uh, nope. Can I pay for it? Yeah, this. Let's pay for it. And then I want to buy this, buy these things. So charge me. Charge me. Yes. Get on with it. All right. I'll build the pallets. I didn't want to. I wanted to wait until I had the good stuff, but I'll build the stupid pallets. All right. So we're going to need to build pallets. And um, again, I'll just have to replace them later. But basically, what we're going to do is we go like this. And these are very expensive. So we're going to spend money on the pallets while we do it. But it enables us to store uh, 2,000 additional gold with each pallet we buy. So I'm going to just put in... About this many for now. A trap has been triggered. And somebody's triggering a trap. Oh, they're here. Hey. Hi. I want you to distract that intruder. If you can find them. Hi there. That's why I, I put the trap here. Discovered it's a good way to like figure out that they're coming in before they get here kind of thing. I wasn't paying attention to the door. Did you see that intruder? Alright, let's get them distracted. Bring them out. Don't let them uh don't let them get in here. They've they've been active in the casino already, right? Like it's not like we've completely ignored them. Their resolve is like down half, so. And most of them have been, uh, you know, led out of there already. But they're gonna go this way first because it's least resistance. There's no like they can get over here and check it out. Wait, what? Ah, okay, I see. I thought they were gonna take a picture of that as evidence, and I was like, that's silly. Now they're in disguise. Our people don't know that they're actually an agent. And they're like, yeah, what are you guys doing? Yeah, oh, you're chilling watching television? That's not illegal. Uh-oh. That guy recognizes me as not being... Not being part of the training program. I don't remember you from basic. And I remember everyone. There we go. We're earning money over here, too. We should probably switch I some of these tables to... Reduce agent skills, too. All right. So we'll get all these pallets installed. And then we won't have to worry about overflow. At least not as much. Let's bring... I need some time away from these let's put the genius back in where she goes. And then... Uh, I think probably we can get with... We don't need armory until we get guards. The lab can get a data bank. Might as well buy it. So let's put the lab here. Not enough gold to complete this construction. I like hearing that. That's good. Let's go back to the map since we don't have enough gold to complete constructions. Well, we can also accept this. And uh, let's go back to the map. So I want to go and get this region here. Uh, let's get this one. I like this one. And we got one more over here. Uh, we got some we got some heat left to burn here. Uh, let's go. Heat to burn? Yeah, we're going to burn heat. Didn't you know? That's how it works. Duh. Uh, and then we want to pay off this to we reduce the heat. Gold to complete this construction. And now that that's done, we can go ahead and grab that scheme. Okay. Good. Map is taken care of. All right, guys. I think that is going to be the end 
of this video. Uh, we do still have some agents that are trying to get in, but for the most part, we're deterring them very well, right? They're, they're not seeing things. We're handling them all right. And as soon as we get security up with guards and stuff, then we'll start getting cameras, additional types of traps we need to research, all sorts of stuff. We'll... And then we have the uh, the technician is now available. We're gonna get 20 grand for this too. So let's collect that reward and watch the scene to end. You there, the one in the apron. What is it you do around here? Yeah. Me, I repair things, prevent breakages, turn things off and on again. Yeah. Oh, good. We need someone to keep the lair in good working order. If you come across any corpses, just don't turn them back on. I like them that way. Right. Good. Okay. So you can see the, the vault here. We have these pallets. They're holding gold for us. Our capacity to hold gold is now up to 56,000 instead of 40,000. And we can also go ahead and um, we can put in some more pallets as we need to. So as our gold continues to rise, we can spend that investment on our ability to hold additional gold. Um, I am going to switch to those racks as soon as possible. But I'm basically going to drop pallets until that voice tells me that. So, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, I think that's good. So we're going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you. If you like the video, be sure to show your love to it. Get that, th get that thumbs up on there. And uh, get subscribed if you're not already. Love your faces. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.